So today I'll be showing you how to use uh, the fuzzy tool in Excel in Power Query in order to compare tables that have a similar but not the exact same values and to merge those tables together and clean them up in Power Query. So in my example here, I have one table with customer survey data. So as you can see, the customer name, their interests, how frequently they want to be communicated, as well as some feedback that they've provided. And what I want to do is, based on this information here, I want their phone number, their email address, and their physical address, as well as their preferred mode of communication. So I can actually start sending them these targeted marketing campaigns. And in this spreadsheet over here, I have that customer data. I have the aggregate customer data with all of the information I have been collecting on these customers, including their phone number, email, and their address. And of course, uh, their preferred communication method as well. So I want to take this column, um, this column, this column, and this column, these four columns from this table, and I want to put them into this table here. And the common denominator, uh, what I'm going to be comparing between the two tables is going to be the names of the customers. Uh, because that's the common value. But the issue is that the names vary slightly for some customers and not all customers on this master list have actually done the survey at all. So as an example from here, um, Laiba Zaman Hassan, right? Her name over here, if you go down here, is Laiba Hassan. So without the middle name. Um, similarly, if you look at, for example, Lavita over here, uh, just her first name. And over here, you can see that her last name is also there, Lavita Small. Um, Dave H, for example, if you look, um, and if you look for him over here, you can see it's David Harris. So Dave is his nickname here, and his last name is Harris. So we want to be able to do these comparisons using Power Query fuzzy match as well. So my first step is going to be to name the tables. Okay, so I'm just going to click anywhere in the table. And as you can see, I've named both tables. So this is called survey. And I've named this table as well. Uh, just this just allows me to kind of uh, differ between the two and contrast them when I'm in my uh, Power Query editor. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our data tab and clicking anywhere into the tables. I'm going to go into the data tab into this button over here from table range. And after this table loads up into Power Query, um, I can simply go ahead and just exit off. I don't need this any longer. And I'm going to do the same for the customer data table as well. Click anywhere in the table into the data tab. And I'm going to click on this table, this button over here from table range. And once again, once it's loaded up, I'll just click on close and load. So now we have both tables loaded into Power Query. Now it's time that we merge these tables together, again, based on the names here, and we're gonna compare the names as well. So I'm gonna go into Get Data and Combine Queries and Merge, and that's gonna open our box to merge the data. After this, I'm gonna select Survey as being my top table and the Customer Data as being my bottom table. And the reason is because I want to uh, return all of the rows from the first table, the survey table, and only the matching ones from the customer data table. Again, because not all customers have done the survey, right? So that's why we're using left outer as well, all from first, matching from second. And I've checked off use fuzzy matching to perform the merge as well. And I can drop down into the fuzzy matching options and the only thing that's really relevant here, important to know, is the similarity threshold. Now, this is uh, the tolerance level when you're matching. So in our case, uh, we want to match the names over here with the names over here. And our threshold, if it's zero, for example, then everything is going to match. So for example, Chris Harris is going to match with Christopher Martin as well even though they're not very similar, um, but just because of the Chris, they're going to match. Um, but if, if you select one, for example, 
then it's going to be very exact and it's only going to match exact characters okay so it's anything from 0 to 1 um, default is 0 0.8 I'm going to go based on my judgment and I'm going to select 0 0.5 and as you can see we have 36 out of 40 rows matching okay which means that 36 uh, people from our customer data are matching in the survey data over here okay um, I'm gonna click OK over here and that's gonna bring this merged table into our uh, Power Query editor and once we've done that we can see our survey table and we can see our next table over here as well our data table I'm gonna click on this button to expand the data table and I want to select all columns okay because for now I want to return all columns merge the two tables completely together okay and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, name column I'm going to bring it beside the survey name column so these are names from the survey table and these are names from the customer data table and as you can see we have some that are not matching uh, whereas others are matching so for example Emily F Braun is actually M Emily Brown in this table but our fuzzy tool it, it was able to pick this up uh, Emma Nicholas Martin is Emma Martin over here and we have a couple of other things as well so um, as you can see we have some duplicates as well so Labita Small is also matching with Laiba Hassan and that's because of the frequency or the tolerance level we chose for a match um, so to address that right off the bat I'm just gonna click on this column here and I'm just gonna remove the duplicate rows um, and that should help out as well um, now that I've done that we still have four values that are not matching but that is okay because I can manually copy paste and match them uh, using control F right so I can use a find function and match them later on um, now the thing is that there are some columns that I don't, I don't really need so for example these names now that they're matched I don't need this column anymore so I'm simply gonna go ahead and just remove the column and there are other columns I don't need as well so I want a table that has the customer name the interests the communication frequency and then their preferred mode of communication as well as their contact information as well so their address and phone number so all of the remaining uh, columns I'm simply gonna click on and I'm just gonna delete them so I'm gonna clean up the table and I'll meet you back once I do so okay so as you can see now we have the customer name their interest their communication frequency their preferred mode of communication um, and then their contact information in the next three columns here now as you can see these columns say data as a prefix and the reason is because these four columns here are actually coming from our data table whereas the first three columns are coming from our survey table so I'm gonna go ahead and just edit the titles as well so remove data uh, just because I don't need that as a prefix anymore all right so now my table is cleaned up again we're gonna be copying and pasting these four uh, values that our fuzzy match was not able to match and we can go ahead and simply close and load and that's gonna bring this table into a fresh uh, worksheet for us okay where we can do our further editing okay so as you can see four columns that didn't match but the other ones there were multiple ones that had similar but slightly different names and as you can see fuzzy match matched them and so as you can see we were able to match our customer data table with our survey results table and use only the columns that we need in order to generate our merged table which is right over here so that's how you use power query editor how you make those uh, changes in your data and how you use the fuzzy matching tool in excel thanks so much for watching